All right. Welcome to the assassin section. Shadow Hunter is one of my main character. And Shadow Hunter is very, very simple. You only need one, two, three. That's it. Three tripods, boys. The genocide can be four. Four tripods for meter gain. Because your goal is to gain meter and transform. And then you have four tripods, you have two extra, right? So since you have two extra for a page, we got the demonic slash on the movement. And then you got the thrust impact on the meter, additional meter gain as well. The speed or the cooldown, seven. Speed or cooldown, seven. And then there, there should be another speed related. Yep, this one, eight. You actually don't see the difference, but if you have free tripod, like why not? 12 tripods more than enough. So, uh, the only thing, what I, my thought process was, is I, I bought another page, I bought another page, and I leveled up all the purple skills. And I also opened up more tripod to make sure to say, hey, I might go perfect, perfect suppression maybe one day. You don't need to have all of them, like, as in, maybe you can just remove one of the skills, like, maybe you can remove genocide, and then put up uh, a spinning dive or something, or maybe you can even remove thrust impact. So those are the options that you can have and since you can have the freedom to do the tripods right you can level both of them and then you can level a bunch of these and then you can level perfect suppression tripods as well so in summary if you're playing demonic impulse if it's an alt you only need four you don't need to do anything about it just get the four tripods transfer them over you're donezo if you want to spend a little more Spend a little, spend a little bit on the cooldown or the other uh, casting ones, because it's gonna feel more uh, faster, more chill, right? And the third one is open up all books, open up all pages if you are planning to play uh, Perfect Suppression in the future. As in, you may get an interest on Perfect Suppression, right? If you get interest in a Perfect Suppression, imagine you don't have the tripods for it. You don't want to spend the money for it, right? Therefore you basically get away from actually swapping the build. There's not much. Shadowhunter doesn't really use a lot of tripods, so it's, it's really... Sh Shadowhunter main users are pretty chill right now, unless they want to play uh, a Perfect Suppression in the future. Okay, talking about Blade. So Blade has Surge and RE. I don't know too much about Deathblade, as you guys may know, because, you know, like, how am I gonna... How am I supposed to know all, all classes, right? I just know the very basic minimal bit. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know them already. And the point is, what is important on the tripod? What was my thought process on it? And for you guys, it's good for you to research, do your own research on what tripods are mainly used and make sure to put them on the tripod skill inventory so that you guys have it so that you don't have to spend more payons and then uh, worry about getting that 20%. Regardless of what it is, your mail storm needs to be max level. Uh, going to surge a little bit though, you level up wind cut, the cooldown and the lasting thing and then spin cutters cooldown and you base it off of the attack speed on any of the skills that you have your blitz rush is also uh damage related your only blitz rush is the only thing that's damage related since voice drag is used for stacks you would use something like void zone and then use a black explosion that kind of stuff if you're re you have your gauge gain related tripods from like you know voice strike you have Soul Observer, you level up three of them for the faster casting speed and then the damage related ones. And you know, RE uses the Moonlight Sonic. Moonlight Sonic, you level them all three. And the Spin Cutter cooldown. Blitz Rush on the other hand, you might want this to be level uh, max leveled as well because it increases crit rate because crit rate is kind of real bad uh, for Deathblade. That would have been like RE. So RE, RE's case, not that much of an issue. You don't use too many tripods. As you may know, I have four out of 18. So you're already using, you're only using 14 tripods. So 14 tripods is what? It's a two page and a half. If you really love blade, right? And if you're a blade main, I would spend on opening up all the pages and I would level up tripod on both surge and RE because you can do that. And later on, if you want, if you ever want to play Surge, all you need to do is just switch your engravings. That's it. You guys are getting Reaper soon. So the 
Unfortunately, it feels like you guys are not going to have the opportunity to save your tripods before the Reaper release. So when the Reaper releases, I'm pretty sure uh, you guys are gonna have the new tripod system. So you may have to manually move over all the tripods. If you take a look at the red skills here, uh, there will be a tripod that increases your crit rate. So this, this particular tripod, last gravity, if I put it to level 1, it's 15% increasing crit rate. If I put it to level 5, it's 40% increasing crit rate. So if I give you a little bit of a rundown on the, the class itself, you don't need crit on a Reaper. If you level up the tripod, it gives you 40%. If you transform, so it's a 10 or 15. Uh, you guys can probably uh, correct me in the comments or something. But it's 10 or 15%. So by default, if you have the tripod up, it's 15 plus 40, so it's, you have 45, you have 55% crit rate if you level up the tripod. I don't know how the moon is going to be. Well, we have an interview. We have an interview set up soon for the Reaper, uh, so we probably need. We can probably learn it there. But as far as I know, the red skills are the main damage skills. So I leveled it up 555, 555, five, 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 and then 545, five, and then 5 and 5. So it's a cooldown related one. Uh, and then you have the Shadow Storm Distortion, same case. This has a gain, uh, this has a gain as well, but I put it as co uh, cooldown to just use it faster. The green skills uh, is a dagger skill, where Nightmare is one of the most important skill after the update. Is night where Nightmare is a counter now, and this particular skill, this has to be the most important skill. You have the cooldown skill itself for this. So if I use this particular skill, it's two seconds. So I can use it every two seconds. If I use this skill, my red skills cooldown is going to be decreased by 1.9 seconds flat. Every time I use this green skill, so if I use this F, every time I use this green skill, it's going to be carved 1.9 second. So you need this. You have to have this at level five. This is as far as I know. Uh, is because I don't know too much about it, but that's the that's a basic bread and butter for Reaper. So for Moon, I actually never I don't even know what skill they use for Moon. Probably use the red skill too, along with uh, a mix of purple and green skills. Because what they do is what Moon does a uh, real real quickly. So you just go to Persona mode and then you just do additional damage. That's what it is. That's why uh, they technically level up different skills to fill up that bar. You go cloak and then you do additional damage with your red skills. Your red skill is the main DPS damage. So whichever build you do, moon or thirst, uh, red skill tripod is very important for you. So that covered, well, talking about Reaper and then the tripod is not as important because Reaper is going to be uh, there after the patch. Not, not a good example for it to talk about, but we talked about Blade and Shadowhunter. So I think that's a uh, pretty good coverage there. So that results into the assassin session, boys. Use cloak to get loading screen. All right, cool. Thanks.